And now we welcome Jody Sandoval, treasurer, Southside Community Coalition. Welcome to Community Crossroads, Jody. Thank you. And so, Jody, I know the Southside Coalition is no stranger to community events. In fact, I wanted to share some past footage from the Trunk Treat that was in 2019, I believe. And I believe this is you dressed as a mermaid. <laughs> <laughs> How fun was that event? Yeah, that was super fun. Um, we had a really fun time with our community members. We had lots of community members and leaders come out that day and just really had a great time. And it was before the pandemic. Now, did y'all have a back to school bash? We're here today to talk, talk about the back to school bash. Did y'all have one during the pandemic? Or I guess we're still in it, but in 2020, did y'all have it? No, we, everything was kind of shut down during 2020 just to keep our community members safe. And so how excited are y'all to bring it back? Yeah, so we're super excited, super excited about the partnership with the Early Childhood Center that's gonna be opening up at Gross Elementary. Um, all the partners that are coming out to share resources, but also include carnival themed games that our children can enjoy. Wow, and so who's sponsoring this event? Is it all the South Side? So it's hosted by the South Side Community Coalition along with the Early Childhood Institution at Gross Elementary. And is there, are there any clues on the movie or is it a surprise it's for a the surprise. night? It's a surprise. Oh my gosh, <laughs> bring your bug spray. That's right. <laughs> we'll have to start that movie kind of late. Yeah, it gets dark, so we're thinking about 8.30, um, we'll be able to start the movie for the night. Well, very cool, and I understand the first, is it the first 50 students that arrive maybe get a free backpack? Actually, we're gonna have 500 backpacks donated wow. by Driscoll, yeah. 500 yeah. backpacks. 500 backpacks. Donated by? Driscoll. Driscoll. Yes. That is excellent. Backpacks are one of those high dollar items that you probably need to replace every every two years or every year. I don't know if they're like my kids. I'm replacing them twice in one year. <laughs> twice in one year. Sometimes, yeah. Wow. And so talk to me about the Southside Community Coalition. Um, we also want to share the time and date for the event. So let's go ahead and pull that up before we transition. So it's from 5 p.m. to 8 p.m., but it may go a little later, on Saturday, July 4th at the Children's Learning Institute's Early Education Center at F.W. Gross, located at 1208 South Navarro Street. And for those that are catching the show on Sunday, what are other ways they can get involved? Um, I also want to put that the if you are watching it late, it's okay because the movie will start about 8.30, so there's still time to get out. Parks and Rec is going to show a movie beginning about 8.30. But if you do miss the event altogether, we really want community members um, who care about the quality of life on the south side of town to really be a part of our meetings. We meet the first Monday of every month at the um, Mills on Wheels building. And what's the mission of the coalition? So there's three goals that we really focus on. Those things were decided in 2019 when we had our first meeting. One is just bringing youth and kid opportunity to the south side of town. Uh, the second is the cleanup and beautification of the south side. And the third is to really make our voices heard about the business, bringing businesses, restaurants, and transportation into the south side of town. And y'all have done a great job over this year, this difficult year of the pandemic. I know the cleanup was a great success and Keep Victoria Beautiful, suddenly they're having cleanups too. Yeah, and um, sneak peek, we may be working with them again sometime in November to do another community cleanup. Well, we hope to have you back on the show to keep us up to date on everything the South Side is up to. I know I live on the South Side, so I really appreciate y'all uh, being active in our community and just thank you for everything you do. Thank you. All right, well, coming up, we meet Melanie Aguilar, a recipient of the Lean On Me initiative.